So I've already had this thing out and used it several times. That's why the terminals are already in it. You got the positive and negative, and you do get these little caps. I love it when they add these little caps with it. So that just goes on there like that. Time USB. Look at all the stickers on this thing, everybody. So first off, you'll notice the nice plastic handles, not the strap style handles that's on a lot of batteries. And this thing is lighter than most batteries. Look at the size of it. So if you're needing a small, compact um, battery for like your trolling motor for your boat or like an RV and your solar panel setup, this might be the one for you. But this is a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, 1280 watt hours of power in this little guy right here. Let's just go over what's in this package here. Look how nicely this package is. So it's a zipper. Actually, like, they actually put a little zipper on there. Set that aside. Look at a set of stickers. So you can get a whole set of stickers for putting on your RV. Going over this, it's just basically some precautionary stuff. Due to shipping, this should come at 80%. I've already fully charged it because you know why? I have a battery charger right here. So this one should be fully charged and some more precautionary right there. Don't touch the terminals together. You know what? If you've made it this far, you probably know what a battery is. So this also has a 100 amp hour. It's got a BMS, which is a battery management system for overcharging and protection and things like that. There's the actual size, by the way. It's eight and three by that way. 10 inches by that way and six inches by this way, which is pretty small considering the battery. It's an M8 terminal, just so you know. 12.8 volt, 100 amp hours. I already went over all that. Charging voltage is 14.4, so it'll get up to 14.4 volts. More safety instructions on that. It is a IP65. Recharge up to 50%. You know what, if, you've, if you know anything about these LIFO 4s, I don't have to go over a lot of it. You can run it in series or parallel. I've got a solar panel set up that I'm running in uh, parallel. I'm not a big fan of series. It just gives you more voltage. I need more amp hours. That's what I need. There they are in series. I mean, there they are in pa uh, parallel and there's the series. So you know what, enough about all that. Let's test this thing out. Let's see if it works. So first off, what I'm gonna test first Actually, let's see how much power it's got. Taking off those. So the battery charger, I'll leave a link for this battery charger. You're gonna to wanna to pick one of these guys up too. So you actually don't have to plug this in. We are fully charged. But you know what, let's go ahead and plug it in. Now it's probably not gonna be 100% charged. It's at 13. You can see right there how this thing charges. It's the mode, it's the LIFO 4. This is a smart charger, so it automatically goes to whatever the battery is, whether it's a car battery, uh, which is basically a lead acid battery, but this is a LIFO 4 battery, and then it goes there, and it'll also do repair on a battery. How about that? You can hit the repair, See, I can go through the different modes, but obviously you wanna be on that one right there. And it will charge it up to 14.4 volts, but this one's right under 13, so I think we're good where we're at. So first thing I'm gonna do, Let's hook up the trolling motor. So let me get this trolling motor hook up and I'll come back. Okay, there we go. This is the Newport Vessels 36 pound thrust trolling motor. So let's go ahead, watch the cord there. Let's go ahead and let's try this out. Well, that thing's humming along. Look at that, everybody. Woo, two, three, five, right there. Look at that. It's going strong with the trolling motor. I don't see any issues at all. Go back. There's reverse, stop, reverse. We are good to go. So I see no issues at all running a trolling motor. Now what I'm gonna do, let's hook up a little small power inverter and let's see how much power we can get out of it. Now this is only a 200 watt, so don't, don't go easy on him. He's a little guy. So let's not give him too much grief. So let's go ahead, unhook the trolling motor, hook up the power inverter, and then I'll run a right angle grinder and see what it does. Okay, so a little 200 watt. Let's go ahead, let's go there. Let's go there. Hit the button. We have power, everybody. Let's run, you got a USB there, an AC outlet right there. 300, let's try this. Wow, look at that. So there you go, running a right angle grinder off of this battery. Oh yeah, I see no issues at all with this thing. That'll work great. Now this little inverter should work. I can power lights, a TV, a basic stuff. So really, 
believe it or not, just with this battery and this little, I think this was a very affordable, like, uh, power inverter, you could run a full on, I think I ran a TV and a DVD player off of just this little item. So yeah, this is something I recommend for anyone that's got uh, like an RV, a van, a trolling motor set up on a boat or something like that. And you want to have a good battery that can kind of power it all without issues. So yeah, that's all I got today, everybody on the time USB 12.8 volt, hundred amp hour battery. See y'all in the next video.